Hello class, this is Mom Says, signing on. This video lecture will talk about how to write polymorphism in Java using NetBeans. Let's begin. Let's create polymorphism in Java. So as usual, we start with by clicking the file menu and then choose new project. Then again in the categories, click Java in the projects pane, click Java application and then click next. Let's name it again, do not forget to type your last name, own your program, then polymer PC. Last name polymer PC. Then click the again do not forget to check if the create main class checkbox is checked. And then click the finish button. Then wait for the NetBeans to create the project template. So once the template is generated, remove the unnecessary comments in our source code. And then again, do not forget to insert your signature. You may now start writing your Polymer piece. Here's now our code for the polymorphism. Make sure that you watch the video about what is polymorphism so you could relate on the source code here. As you can see, we start with writing the superclass, which is the animal, and then followed by the subclass here so we have two subclasses one for the pig and then another one for the dog if you remember in our discussion with the inheritance this is an example of inheritance wherein the subclass here inherit the characteristics of our superclass here by using the keyword extends so class name the pig extends super class name which is animal if you remember our syntax for inheritance notice that we have method overloading here if you remember overloading happens when there is a method of shared name like in this example we have animal sound so we have three methods with shared name but with different characteristics or expressed in different ways let's take for example the first method here of animal sound is to display the output of the animal makes a sound and then the other method here was the same name with the first one animal sound will display the output the pig says we oui, wee oui. and then another method of with the same name which displays an output, the dog says bow wow. So all of them methods with the shared name but express different output is an example of overloading method as we had explained in our previous video lectures. Observe in our main class here we which demonstrates the method calling. As you can see, we call the 
different method, different expressions of method from the superclass animal and from the subclass pig and the dog. But to be able to do this, so we could call the methods from our classes here, we need to instantiate it first. That, that is why we have an instantiation here. So recall that to instantiate, we have to follow the syntax like this one. Again, you need to instantiate the classes in order to call the methods inside it. And do not forget to follow our syntax for instantiation, like you have to write first the superclass name, and then of course do not forget the, the classes, and the new keyword that makes it instantiation happen. And of course, do not forget to identify the class name where it could be these methods would be coming. Overall, this is a demonstration of a polymorphism. As we had mentioned in our previous lecture about what is polymorphism, it is a Greek word which means many forms. As you can see, we have many forms here of methods and many forms of classes with different expressions. But altogether reunited with one interface through our main class here and that's when polymer prism comes in. Can we add more forms here or class? Of course we can. So take a look at this one, the class cut, which I added earlier. Simply copy paste the subclass here, the dog for example, or the pig, whichever you like, and then simply replace the the name of the class from dog to cat, for example, and do not forget the to change the statement, of course, because you know the cat has other way of expressing their sound. The cat has different animal sound. Then after writing the subclass here for the cut, do not forget to add in your main class the instantiation of the cut, and then you can now call the method inside the cut by writing this kind of declaration following the syntax for calling for method calling, you know. Now let's run our source code by then again right clicking on your source code and then choose run file. And then wait for the output to display. Here's now our output. So let's take a look at the source code again. So First line output here, the animal makes a sound, comes from our, the super class here. And then for the next line output, came from our subclass, pig, and then for the dog, and then for the cat. This output is the resulting factor of our main class here, this declaration from line 36 to line 39 but all this was made possible because of the instantiation here and of course because of the many forms that we have created earlier 
and let's complete our polymorphism. And that ends our discussion. Hope this code inspires you as you develop your programming skills. And so that's it. Watch out for more video lectures. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mamses signing off.